Obviously, we see who the four starters are. Who are the, in the who else is in the two deeps now? At safety, you have Brown back there, and then the other fighter. Yeah, and we're, you know, I think right now um, there's three safeties that that uh, feel comfortable with with AB and, and Landon and Taylor. Mm -hmm. The other guys were fighting for a spot. Yeah. You know, Evan and has had some reps in the spring, and Mazzani and, and Austin Logan, those young guys, mm -hmm. Kyle Marzak, those other kids. They're all fighting for that next spot, whatever yeah. side it's on. Um, you know, at corner. Um, feel good with those first couple guys on both sides and uh, you know we're fighting for a fifth and sixth there because of the depth of that position that you need a lot of those guys are on our special teams and, and those kind of things so that becomes critical for the corner position. Would Normando or Lewis right now be like a nickel back? Uh, Ricardo's moving in there so okay. actually Normando is the guy that runs on in nickel he's, he's playing his field corner mm -hmm. um, and uh, Ricardo becomes the nickel. What do you think Antoine the ceiling becomes the second? What do you think the uh, ceiling is for the secondary night? Oh, the ceiling. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure yet. You know, I think we're still on the ground floor, um, and I think that's, I think that's fair. Uh, I think we have some work to do. Uh, I think the best news for me and our group is, is they're just dying to do it, and uh, that makes it a lot of fun to coach. I just told them that you know, when we practice like we practice, you can coach them. Uh, you don't have to. You know, cheer on, run here and run there, and all that stuff. They're running and playing, and, and now it's my job to coach them to do the right things. And, and uh, you know, you can tell we've had 16 practices. Uh, they've improved since we've gotten here since day one, as far as my group's concerned. And you know, I, I'm proud of their attitudes and effort. They've trained hard, obviously, this summer. Um, they're running around, uh, and the key now has become my job is to teach them what to do, and that allows them to continue to play fast. But uh, you know, we're still on ground floor. You know, I haven't looked up yet to the ceiling. Uh, I'm not sure there is one with this group, if that's fair to say. Uh, but we're still we're still on the base floor, and uh, I think that's fair at this point in time. I think that's where we should be. You guys have, you said you have a couple of guys that you see as guys that will definitely be rotating in and out at 2D. How important is it for you guys, though, to find that? Fifth, oh, that it's a, it's, yeah, it's critical. I mean, when you play back there, I mean, you're, you're six inches from the touchdown. And uh, a guy, and our guys all play special teams. They're on every play in the, in the, in the game, most of them. Uh, they're critical in those areas. Uh, special teams win championships, and our guys have to be on them. Uh, so it's critical as we get into the month of November that we've got some depth, and, and we have to develop players. And again, that, that's part of my job is to teach those young guys how to play. But uh, you know, we've got to we've got to come out of here with eight, nine, ten guys. Uh, right now, I would say that it's fair. Um, tell you anything that I wouldn't tell them. We probably have you know, six or seven that, that really know what's happening. The other guys are still in the learning mode, and again, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do for the next 27 practices. So uh, I think they'll get it. They're very eager to learn. They've trained extremely hard this summer, you can tell. Uh, you know, it's, it's been fun to watch them, but we've got to come up with eight guys minimum, and, and if I could get 10, I'd love to have them because those guys, I mean, they just don't come off the field, you know, and, and they're critical in special teams, and we're going to use them. Uh, I would rather have my kids rest on, on defense than rest on a special team. I mean, if they need to come off the field, they're coming off on defense. If that's the case, then those other guys got to play, and they better be ready. Landon mentioned that him and Ricardo are going to be on the same side all the time. Just kind of you know, walk us through that and just kind of why, why that pairing. Well, we're going to do that some of the times, I think, in all fairness. <laughs> you know, that, that all the time thing is all the time. All the time yesterday and today. Um, <laughs> but... Um, you know, I think those guys, we're going to try to do with the, the way the offenses have gone with all the speed offenses. We're trying to find some ways, uh, and not sure that we can do it yet, um, but finding some ways to keep guys so we're not running all over the place getting lined up. And uh, you can't play defense without being in the right spot. By playing some left and rights, um, which a lot of teams do, it's nothing new. We did not do that in the spring, so we've changed over and, and uh, um, put guys on the left side and guys on the right side. So. Um, you know, that's kind of what we've done. Um, you know, I don't know that there's necessarily a bunch of reasons. Most teams, I guess, are right-handed, if that was a reason that you were looking for. But, uh, you know, Frankie and those guys were on the other side, and the ball's on the hashes, you know, two-thirds of the time anyway. So we'll see. Talking about a different part of the defense, what, what do you think when you watch uh, Coach Freeman be so animated out there with the linebackers now he's helping that unit? Um, you know, I, I was blessed. I've known, you know, Marcus, Coach Freeman, for since he was with my brother at Ohio State. Um, he played for him there. My brother actually recruited him. 
Hmm. Um, so I've known him for quite a while. I've had a chance to watch him. I've uh, got a chance to coach with him. Uh, he coached our linebackers last year uh, where we were at before. Um, and as the coordinator, I really appreciated his enthusiasm. You know, a tremendous effort guy. Um, I haven't really seen him one second out here since we've been out here. I got up my own problems. Um, so you can tell how animated he is. Um, but, you know, I really appreciate his effort and attitude toward football. He's a young football coach that has a tremendously bright future. And, um, you know, he worked his rear end off for us the last couple of years. And like I said, I've known him a long time. He does a great job with our players. And I think they respect how hard he works.